I should probably investigate my map a little bit. So where do I think I am from what I explored? I bet I was... Yeah, okay, so I was actually going down Else Nowhere Street because there was a bus station and they closed off sleeping lots there. I must now be going down Kennedy Street then. That's my guess at the very least. I'll give it a thorough look. Being the aesthetic gamer, part of the responsibility is to explore and see what one can see. There's actually a turning point here. I guess I'll look into it. It leads to a fence, though. That wasn't very much exploring done there today. Though there's this house here, or building, it's not really a house. I, somebody had a house designed like this. A, it doesn't seem very homely, and on the second part, it's certainly kind of big. Is there an entrance, though? Well, there's something here. A little turns table doesn't actually turn into anything, but whatever. Oh boy, invisible walls, everyone's favorite form of not being able to pass through an area. There's actually stuff in the middle of the street that way, so... Let's go this way. This building is, yep, not openable. We'll follow the direction this way. I mean, I know probably where I need to explore is more in the middle of the town rather than on the outskirts of town, but still have to subdue my curiosity to see if things actually lead to anything. That leads to a whole no over there. It's a shine. Are there shiny shines? There are shiny shines in this game. One can enjoy all the shininess that one must shine onto. If you want to put your shining light on the, then you can just do so pretty easily. That one's for the music box for Mills. That, that's just a wall. That is an invisible wall right there. Oh boy. Well, at least we have a crosswalk. Now we're not legally jaywalking across the streets. I mean, who would want to do that? Our character apparently has done it many times. Apparently that old man that was crawling all across the floor, having his old man times, enjoying himself. Alright, so we've reached another invisible wall off town. Let me see. I think I was going down Kennedy Street. Following this, that means I'm probably about to come up to a cemetery. Down Carter Street. Okay. The camera was just pulled back a little bit. Yep, this looks like the graveyard. At least has a very big graveyard look to it. Doesn't it have a graveyard look? I think it has a graveyard look to it. Now, do I actually want to go to the graveyard first? Because I feel like that might be where we're trying to go to. Hang on, I got a mansion note, so maybe I'm actually supposed to go to the mansion next. At least I've got a decent idea of where I actually am right now, which is more than I could say a little bit ago. Let's investigate to the correct area of the mansion. Actually, is there even an entrance to this? There's probably an entrance to the cemetery. Where it is, I couldn't rightfully tell you. Let's go a little bit deeper. And there we go. It looks like some form of an entrance. You need the cemetery key. Alright, so no cemetery key for us. Howdy, neighbor. Do deadly D. What are we gonna even see? I don't know. Let's take a look around. My next impression, let's see, I'm going to just go a little bit deeper here. Exploring the outskirts of town is of course exactly what I wanted to do. I have a picnic basket. If we want to go fucking Yogi Bear, okay, I need to just say something, if fucking Yogi Bear of all things is brought up. I fucking hate Yogi Bear. There's no good reason why I do. I just really dislike this character. Anyways, we're going to neglect that there. We're probably at this other end of the town over this way. Is there anything over here? Why do I hate Yogi Bear? I don't know. I just found it to be kind of a... Shrug. There's the ruins. I guess that we probably need to go to the mansion. There's a coffee shop over there. There's a house here, a park there. I should be closest to the ruins, so I'm going to first see if there's anything to do in the actual ruins. Just to confirm where I am, the C says it's Carter Street. 
This says it's Washington Street. Yep, I know exactly where I am then. Let's see if there's an entrance here to the ruins. I was pretty sure from the very get-go that where we needed to go was somewhere in the middle here. We'll continue our investigation then. Let's try and form a path this way. I need to show you guys something a little bit later. Still though, there's not very many entrances around the areas in town. I guess I'll investigate block by block now that I've got a better idea of where I actually am. If we follow this there, the ruins may not have an entrance. We should be going down Jefferson Street and the park should be to the left of us. Uh, the park probably is open. These ruins do not seem to be. But I'm just going to make sure there isn't like an entrance on anywhere hidden there in the town. There's a crow now kind. That's got to count for something. There's at least some sort of structure inside the ruins that we can now see. Which actually might mean that the entrance is pretty nearby. There's a crosswalk over to the park. I'm going to make sure like the entrance to the ruins isn't over here or something. Neglecting that. Why no, I do not see the entrance to the ruins, so... Oh my. There may not even be a way to enter this place. The ruins I just wanted to first check because it was the thing closest to me now that I kind of had an idea of where I am, but it's just as likely that there was actually no entrance to the ruins. So one more side to really investigate and then I'm going to call this uh, ruin searching mission off. It doesn't look like there's an entrance. I, I honestly think I'm just kind of wasting my time on this one. But that's okay. Mansion tells me nothing on the ruins. Next up is the park. Alright. Let's go over here. My, yeah, we're gonna have to cross our way back over to the park, which means a good old loop around so there is no entrance to the ruins. Now, I already know where we need to go. The mansion's gonna be open because we got mansion code earlier from the house that we investigated, but I just kinda wanna see if there's anything else hidden around town that we haven't seen otherwise. I guess I might as well just follow this side of the street while I'm uh, crossing here. I don't actually think there's anything over here, but. Hey, I can run through fields. At least there's a little bit of joy in that. I'm going to try and head back because I'm pretty sure the street might be ending pretty soon. It's a little bit hard to tell when the town is so foggy. But thankfully I didn't miss much of the good old gated fucking ruins access. We can now cross over to the park though, so that's a bright side. Maybe the park will be more open. Let's find out. The park has its own unique fence, but I'm pretty sure we can enter into it. At the very least. We'll ignore all the good old picket fences. At least it's a different type of fence that makes a little bit more sense to go with a park as opposed to some persuado fence. Is this like locked where I need an eye on the inside? It seems to be locked, that's unfortunate. I wanted to go down and explore the park. This is the main character sprinting. No, yeah, this is him walking. This is him running. Let's go on through. There's a crosswalk over here. We can neglect that one for a bit. Alright, I'll go over to the mansion. I know where it is. All I have to do is follow this next street for a ways and I should be able to find it. Hello, gated area. We'll follow you. This trail I don't think is going to show me anything, but just in case. I'll sense there seems to be two split off areas. I'm going to just follow it, get to the other side, and then go back over to the mansion. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything on this block until I get to the mansion, though. But there should be two little crossover era areas. I just kind of want to walk through them. Let's neglect this. Yeah, it's a little bit lo uh, longer than I was going to anticipate. This actually goes on for a while, doesn't it? I heard something? Anyways, I'm going to guess the next area that we're going to see is going to be the area to cross back over to the other side in just a little bit. So we'll listen and follow that then. Let's neglect. 
next area to turn off into should be pretty soon. They're actually a fair distance away, so it actually should be just a little bit of ways. The city's pretty big. A little bit barren, unfortunately. I mean, I guess if I just did what most people would do and have to pick up the mansion note, pro I open up the map there. Okay, so I open it up. Here's the second crossover area. There's probably nothing in here, though. The walls are different. There's that. Exciting stuff, I know. Let's follow this over this way, and the mansion should be to our right coming up. Let's follow it over to this area. By this area, I mean when we eventually get to the end of these tunnels, because I think they made the town a little bit too big and empty. Because otherwise, it might be slightly enjoyable, but I think they're missing the whole points of intrigue, landmarks, just things that make it a bit more interesting. Here should be the entrance to the mansion, though. At least we found that. Now we got a code to the mansion earlier. I'm guessing that's how we enter it, but we'll have to find out. Here's an old fountain for us to pass through. And the mansion. You use the code to the mansion, which allows us to enter inside. And of course, immediately with Moonlight Sonata. Let's do a little bit of exploring. The phone's got nothing, you've got nothing. According to my status, I still have no bullets. So hopefully there's not very many monsters deep in this foggy place. The house is designed decently differently enough, I will say. Nothing over there to encounter. It looks like there's a door over there, but it's not actually going to lead us to anything. That's actually a cabinet now that I pay a little bit more attention. What is a door is this, though. Will this open? Now it makes a lock sound. Let's go to the second floor, then. There's a painting up here. I'll take the left route first. I used to almost always choose right paths first. Now I usually choose left. This leads us to a little bit of a small explorable area. An outside angle here. Doesn't seem to be much to explore over here though, which means over this side. Oh, this is shiny right there. You got file three. File three is going to be about aliens again. A forgotten anniversary. 300 years ago, strange things have happened out of our city. These events were part of the part of what people in our city call the event of 1714. On July 7th, 1714, our church was solemnly dedicated to the worship of an almighty God, and a sermon preached from these words of scripture. We are told there was present a great many English persons and many other from Philadelphia. At the end of these words, around 8 p.m., one extraordinary description was made by a family. They said that big light flew over the house. They described a light bigger than the moons. There were also, about the same time, several reports of two round objects between 900 and 9.30, or 9.30, basically 9.30, 9 p.m. and 9.30 p.m., one extraordinary description was made by another family. They said that a strange light flew over their area. All right. Well, there's a file. I guess is what this area is for. Good old files doing their file things. All right, so what's deeper inside the house then? The next answer is probably a key item or another. I bet we're going to get the cemetery key pretty soon. It's a billiard room, which has our hat in it. It's okay, I need a second one. Neglecting our obviously iconic hat. That door is locked. How about over here? Nothing here. Over to the next. He had his gun hoisters, but I'm not sure there's anything loaded in them. Maybe he has guns, maybe he's really prepared for entry inside the town. 
based off of those short monsters we were fighting earlier. <laughs> All right, there appears to be something here. Can we investigate the telescope? There's actually an upstairs area. Actually, that's the outfit we saw earlier, what the monsters were wearing. Fucking shorts. We'll go upstairs. The camera angle's a little bit weird to go up here, though. I wouldn't have chosen this camera angle for this particular sequence, personally speaking. Let me look at this a bit backwards. Before I go up there, before I even try to go up there, let me go over here. I bet he on this map tree in memory of John Rip. Well, that means we're going inside here then. A body in the ceiling. Okay, here we go. Got it. Figured out this fucking stair area. Let's go on through. Well, there's that statue. And another door that goes deeper into the area. A telescope area. This is God Cemetery Key. This does not surprise me very much at all. So with the cemetery key, is things about to get a lot worse? Sometimes in backtracking these things happen. Let's go on down. Well, I figured out how to get down here a lot faster than I figured out how to get up. What did I just... War of the Worlds. Oh, he's reading the books. It's a trail of War of the Worlds. Are there book trails leading out of here now? No? Definitely dropping those alien hints still. Well, we've already kind of explored the whole mansion, I guess. So let's get on out of here and I guess head back towards the cemetery. And the new trend is to stick people to the walls and ceilings. Well, that was definitely a sound at the very least. There's a back entrance to the mansion. Can't use it to enter the mansion though. You can't see inside the mansion with the camera there though. <laughs> we'll continue down this route then. Let's, I guess, head back. We obviously have the cemetery key, which we can take advantage of now. That's a very unstable garage. They don't even have a garage door, it's just a big old brick wall. I feel like that might uh, violate some safety laws. <laughs> Let's uh, go through here and back on out. Let's neglect that. My map. I guess I'll explore down Lincoln Street only because I'm distinctively curious if I can enter inside any of those buildings. Let's get to work. Had a camera angle, but didn't actually eat anything. Camera angle's a little bit weird for this area. It's kind of at a slanted angle. It doesn't look bad, but unfortunately it's not bad with the things angled to it. So I guess we go down here. What I'm curious about is if I can enter inside the coffee shop. It was definitely a coffee shop labeled on the map, and I want to see if I can enter into it and get some goddamn coffee. Now, me, myself, and I, I don't drink coffee, but this guy, he looks like he'd be a coffee drinker. This should be it. What? Sir? Sir? I don't feel this is normal. Well, at least you know, he's going to get his morning fix and fix it all out for him. Welcome to the coffee hoos. I'm going to ignore the coffee hoos. Can I enter inside the house on the other side of the street? 
Let's find out. No, I cannot. You can actually enter inside a lot of the buildings in the alpha. I don't know, I feel like they actually made the game worse since I played its alpha form rather than better. The changes I'm not particularly fond of and either come off as cheesy or less ambitious one or the other and has made this whole area a little bit more barren than it once was. It actually changed the layout completely as well from the alpha. I can sh uh, say I didn't go, the mansion was a new location, but it's kind of like, hmm, nothing through there. I was going to assume that none of these buildings are enterable besides the cemetery. So let's make our way down to the cemetery. The audio design in this game actually isn't bad. The bits of music that you can hear every once in a while aren't actually bad at all. Other areas are far more questionable though. I believe we will soon be arriving to our to the park, which will block our way this way. So I'm just going to try and follow the picket fences over here. The cemetery should be right ahead of us down this street though. People around town are definitely up to some odd things. So far my impressions is unfortunately this game is very poorly made. I don't feel like the developers being malicious with it, but unfortunately I feel like uh, the changes they made aren't improvements, they are actually more downward. It's too low quality, especially for the price that it's at, and unfortunately it's just not very good. That said, there are elements of it I'm enjoying. The audio design is actually pretty okay, and uh, so far, I mean, there's a few the notes aren't badly written, especially since I know the developer is uh, first language is in English, but yeah, I guess it kind of just depends how that develops on that front. Unfortunately, I couldn't really recommend this either. There's a few too many missteps, so too little bit empty barrenness, and unfortunately, I haven't really. There's some areas I can see where the game has been improved in slightly, particularly with the control wiseness. Though there's still definitely some flaws with it, but. Otherwise, the additions and the changes I've seen, I'm not particularly fond of compared to what I played originally. Let's look through here. Is this the park? I actually thought I was going through the park earlier, but I might have been looking at another block. Let's go down the street. Uh, when I got the game, it was $1.99. I think the price has been raised. This has actually been being made by this guy for a long period of time. I played the alpha of this like two years ago. I'm not going to mention that again, though, because I've already mentioned this in this LP, and I don't want to keep on saying this uh, same few things. The cemetery entrance should be somewhere this way. Let's go take a look. The entrance to the left it should be right on the head. I still have no ammo, but nothing's been attacking me recently, so I should be okay. There's the entrance. Use the key. To the cemetery. Well, things to explore. I mean, I guess it's better having no enemies than all those enemies that were attacking us fucking earlier in the dark forest section, but... There's a tombstone. Let's get to some exploring. I know there's something in the middle of the graveyard, but I kind of want to just look around a little bit first. Well, these are graves. That is typically what you will find in the graveyard. This graveyard doesn't seem very well organized, though. Personal thought process there. Go a little bit deeper, though. The other side. Now I know that there is something that was marked in the middle of the graveyard. If I look at my map for a moment, there's like that little red thing in the very core of the graveyard. I should be going towards the second graveyard thing over here. I think.
think I'll move more this way. You missed a guy who was having a bad day? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go towards the middle of town and see what we can see. By that, I mean that there should be something in the middle of the graveyard. I could have just skipped all the grave searching. There might be something in the graveyard or another, but since there's been so much empty barrenness, I'm not led to believe that there is anything. I'm going to look for the entrance here. There. There it is. Well. Hello, fading cat. And here's whatever I'm looking for. Which, yes, we can enter. It's going to be like a crypt. That's my guess. It's a church. I really should have figured that was coming out. I'm gonna grab on either side. Big guy, oh, hi, sir. He's got an eye next to him. Got file four. File four. A lighthouse in the sky. On Sunday, a nurse reports seeing what appeared to be a lighthouse in the sky. The sighting was one of several reported that has been separated that has reported on this week. She remembers seeing a big light over Arnington Road, and then she remembers running towards her home on Mahalid Road. I wonder what that's a fucking reference to. Now she is seeking out answers and other witnesses to the UFO sighting. Some might think she was imagining it or making this up, but she stands by her account. I'm not a liar and I'm not afraid, she said during a recent visit to the place where it all happened. Go to school. Well, I guess I do need a schooling. Got the just cross goes to school. Is there even a school in this town? All these people are gonna be caught up in their own affairs of staying around churches, I suppose. Let's go on back out. Is there anything like supplies? There's no supplies. My health is fine, but my ammo is not. become night, which means, unfortunately, I have no ammo, so... Check the map. Okay, so there's an arrow showing us that we have to go straight through town, basically. The only problem is since it's night, and because this game is called Project Night, I guess the enemies come out at night. And I don't have any ammo. Not the files, I'm going to press H. I have zero ammo, full health, and my experience with the enemies is that they're faster than I am. So I always need to get a fucking sneak attack to be able to take them out. The cemetery has a new wall installed into it, which I guess means now I need to explore through another direction. Here's hoping that fucking shorts monsters don't come out of nowhere and fucking maul on me again. This brick wall. Yep, there you go. I thought I was just that in the way. Let's go in a little bit deeper then. He can throw his hat. That's his secret weapon. I can only hope. I really don't have the supplies ray to take care of any enemies I see, and they're faster than me, so I can't just easily run by them. I 
I heard the cat meow again, but I definitely didn't see it. There's just little sounds happening all over, though. Come on, exit to the stone wall. Where art thou? The problem with these locations being so broad. If I die, it's gonna fucking take me to the very beginning of the night sequence, trying to not run to this fucking graveyard again. I found the turnstable. Candles. They're not actually candles, but the gates look very candle-like in the sliding, which means I'm towards the outskirts of this area. Alright. Making our way downtown. If that's even downtown, it seems more like a small town than anything, but what do I know, right? Is has a secret bomb. I can only hope that it has a secret weapon. I got nothing to defend myself with right now. And if the enemies are faster than me again, then I literally have nothing. Hopefully this counts as a save point. It's starting to snow. It's snowing, it's snowing. Did I mention that it's snowing? Let's then take control. Now I'm afraid to follow the straight way out of town. What? The oh, that's actually a bit clever. That way is blocked off. It's not what one would expect. Oh, there's some ammo finally. Guess I'll take this. Okay, we're gonna take the route by the ruins, I guess, to make a way out of town. Let's continue this way. Not what I would have expected, to say the very least. It seems like these things we can avoid, though, at the very least. There might be those short monsters as well, though, so I'm going to be a little bit cautious here. The way out of town, if I fall, this route should eventually come. Town's blockaded a little bit more. Okay, there it is! Yeah, I died once. Fucking short monsters are still in town, doing short monster things. I guess. I I don't like the short monsters, let's be honest. Or I guess now we know his name is John Shrug. No, you can shoot them, but if he gets on top of you, there's not much you can do, unfortunately, so yeah, yeah. But he also looks really dumb. I just call him Shorts because he's wearing shorts. We go this way. So I'll have to be prepared to know that there's one Shorts monster coming up. Or two! You were not there before. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to take care of him there. Once they get on top of you, there's literally like nothing you can do. I don't know why he was so close to us this time, though. I didn't counter him last time, said it very least. Maybe they have some movement to them. I don't know how they work. Just kind of come out of nowhere. Unfortunately, if they come up behind me, there's not much I can do. Unless, of course, I'm able to turn around fast enough and actually shoot them. So, yeah, yeah. The problem is, once they get on top of you, it's like, eh. Well, you can sprint in this game. It's just his sprinting is kind of like a fast walker, because this is him walking. This is him running. Oh. Actually, oh! I didn't know they could actually fire something at me or another. There you go. You don't need 
bullets now. Alright, I've got full ammo, that's why I'm saying I don't need bullets now. I'm gonna stick to this fence and what the shorts don't notice me. So sticking to the wall is a good way to avoid the first shorty makes short shorts, or John, if you will. Let's see a little bit deeper here. Da, 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 around the corner. Maybe if I just cling to the wall, I'm not going to rely on that though. I need to see if I can see the shorts monster eventually. They're easy enough to take care of if you uh, see them coming at you. But the moment they get on top of you, you're just like you're fucking helpless. You can't do anything to them. And probably since I have to get to the other side of town, I have no idea how many shorts I'll take. How many shorts I'll take. How long it'll take me to get to the other side of town. Anything like that. Try and stick close to this gate and hope for the best. This may or may not be the best route to take. I feel like going through the middle of town is going to be the worst possible route I can take, though. Call this sneaking suspicion. I'm prepared for any shorts that I see coming right at me. Okay, except for one behind me. Fucking A. I <laughs> Still though. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel, and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.